<laughs> What's up, Millie Gang? What's up? What up? What up? What's up, our Millie Mills out there? How y'all doing? Millie Mills, what's going on? How y'all doing out there? So, uh, yeah, yeah. Got me some pancheros. He got him some pancheros and some queso and some chips, right? Yeah. And a burrito. Yep, a burrito. Let me show y'all that burrito. That big old burrito. Y'all see that? I'm touching up on his stuff. I don't even know if he like that. Right. And then. <laughs> Chick-fil-A <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> A large, <laughs> a large though. Y'all know that Chick Fil A lemonade though. It is your, busting out the back though. Point. So yeah, I had to get that Chick Fil A lemonade. It is good. I just got me some jalapeno peppers because I went to. We are gonna say Grace, and then I'm gonna tell y'all this story. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Amen. Amen. So, so okay. Man, how y'all doing? Hold your stuff. I'm gonna hold up my big old for real. Ready? One, two. Okay, you good? Yeah. So. Mm. Mm. So yeah, tell them what you uh. She wants to get some mushrooms, y'all. Some portobello mushrooms. Was they portobello? I don't even know if they was portobello, but. Mm mm. Mm. Man. I went and got some stuffed mushrooms, y'all, from, from a local place here. And, um, not even in this town. Probably like 15 minutes away or whatever from here. Y'all, I ordered these stuff, and they was, they, you know, they were supposed to be spicy and everything. I ordered these freaking, um, yeah. stuffed mushrooms, y'all. Oh my gosh. They was like this big. <laughs> they was literally like this big. I'm like, oh my gosh. When I got, when she handed me the box though, when she handed me the box, the box felt very light, like one done in there. I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking in my head, like, okay. Right. What's going on here? Y'all. There wasn't nothing in that box. They were stuffed with air. They was a little spicy. They weren't real spicy. They was a little spicy. So they were spicy mushrooms? Stuffed mushrooms? Yeah, stuffed mushrooms. But what were they stuffed with? Cheese? Yeah. Or just, air! Just, <laughs> <laughs> so they had nothing in it. No, they had like a little cheese, a little cheese in it. But you literally had to take the little, um, Dang. what is it called? What? The little thing <laughs> that you stuff with like food and stuff and you squirt it in there. Mm -hmm. They literally you had to use one of those because you couldn't even use no spoon to get it in that little tiny mm. mushroom. I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Mm -mm. They was not kidding me. That's crazy. They was so small, y'all. Stuff could, like that had me disappointed. I was disappointed, but the taste was good, so I wasn't too disappointed. Yeah, you banged them, though, huh? I banged them. When I opened up the box and seen how little they was, I said, man. That be making me feel like I, I just snack. got to cook it. Yeah. I could cook that. I could have cooked that. I be feeling like, man, I could have cooked that. Waste my money on something like that. I definitely did that at the crib. I could not believe it. I just thought they was going to be like. I just knew they was going to be like. Like this big, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't even like that. Mm -mm. They bogus. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I couldn't believe it. I was appalled. Like, no, you didn't. Right. That's crazy. If I had things to do, I would have turned around. <laughs> <laughs> right. Y'all charging ten dollars for what? You want ten dollars? For it? Yeah, they eight ninety nine. With tax have, like ten dollars. Ain't had nothing in there. Ain't have nothing in there. Small, y'all. <laughs> Small, y'all. Man, I'm paying about my food, man. 
I don't even let the um. I don't even let the. I try not to. I've been really and I've been doing really good. <laughs> I have not to let like things like that bother mm-hmm. me. You know, like okay, yeah. whatever. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. It's my fault more so than they fault because I didn't know. Right. If I would have known, it's just an experience. So so now I know when I go there. I need yeah, to order two be, orders. You can't be mad. That was my own fault, right? Yeah, it's my yeah. own fault. Yeah, sometimes so, you got to blame yourself. <laughs> but, and, and that's what I do because that's yeah. how I learn from everything. I blame yeah. it on myself so that I can be, be- a better yep. person. Yep, exactly. Like, that's just my fault. I'm sorry, y'all. I got my phone out here. And that's but, what you're supposed to do. I mean, like like when we just went over the horse coats with everybody. You know, it's, we talked mm-hmm. about the weaknesses. The weaknesses is to let you know that's what something you, work you can work on. And mm-hmm. if you work on that... You are, you are, you, you are evolving, and also you are being in alignment with, uh, your karmatic, mm. your that karmatic energy. You've been in, you've been in alignment with that, so you facing that. You know what I'm saying? You you balancing it. You got to balance. Mm-hmm. It's gonna help you during your experience. Trust me. And it's definitely. It's been a better person. Is it? I like it though. Yeah, cause it's 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 challenging. Cause it, I mean, think about it. We all got flaws, right? Mm-hmm. We all got flaws. We all got our dark side. Like you, and light side. you notice your flaws, especially when somebody else tell you that's close to you that deal with you, and you already kind of noticed it. Mm-hmm. Then you be like, okay, yeah, you admit to it. That's right. the first thing. You admit to it. Second thing. The first thing you, admitting to it is accepting it. Exactly. You gotta accept it. You gotta admit to it and accept it. Yo, that's your flaw, and then. Second thing, you got to work on it. Mm-hmm. Work on it every day. Literally try to, you know what I'm saying, change that. You know what I'm saying? Make yourself better. You know what I'm saying? Make Be a better person. Whatever your flaw is, you know what I'm saying? Work on it. Definitely got to work on it. Because if not, you would constantly be irritated with people. Mm-hmm. You would constantly be yeah. Um, miserable and stressed and depressed and right who wants who wants all those emotions right i mm. sure in the hell don't yeah i don't really too much do good with with like expression expression my emotions i don't mm. want to do that like that's just something i really don't want to do i rather you feel it in you to like i could you feel it by me showing you. I ain't finna do all that talking and tell you like, oh no no. no, no. But that's the thing about <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Some people you gotta communicate too. Some people want communication. I believe you know I'm, I'm a strong believer in, and that may be you know. Some people think some people Ooh. are more so off of verbal communication. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I really don't believe. If you tell me something, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to say nine times out of ten. Maybe six times out of ten, it's going to go in one ear and out the other. I'm more so of an action person. Like, show me. Show me what you really telling me. And then I'm going to be like, oh, shoot. I mean, they said they were going to do it and they yeah, did I mean, it. They did it. You know? so. Yeah, you got to understand. Action always speak louder than words. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, your words is what's getting it across. You know, mm-hmm. some people, some people gotta gotta say things. Now, if you deal with somebody that done lied to you over and over and over, then yeah, you most definitely ain't gonna believe they words over their actions. I mean, yeah, but sure it's, the thing is, you gotta communication comes from being able to express mm-hmm. how how you feel and your concerns and all that. Some people need to hear it. Some people need to hear that. Like they do. need. And in a lot of the horoscopes we went over, some of those uh, characteristics, some of those signs need to hear. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. It, they need to hear that. That that you know what I'm saying. They need to hear they significant other. They need to hear their family member, somebody telling them like you you doing a good doing job. Good, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Stay on it. You do. Cause, which, cause but that that's helps. different than that's but totally that's, different you know, than expression. Like me telling you. Like I can tell a person. All day long, like, oh, you're doing a good job to do this, like the other. But when it comes to like more what, so, relationships? yeah, more so like, mm, mm, you feel this energy. That's all you need to feel. 
I ain't yeah. got to tell you and yeah. go and need yeah. She I don't, that, it's I'm, just maybe my relationship, my end. You got to be able to, yeah, you got to know how to work on that communication. Because, I mean, I'm I not, I'm, okay. I'm more of a person called feelings, too. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not openly expressive of my emotions. I don't express my emotions as good either. You I'm not, think so? I, I don't. I think no. you do a good job. I don't. No, I don't. Not in my relationship. I'm saying I should, not as I should be more. I feel that's something I need to work on more. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know I need to work on it. But it, it got to be expressed, though. Mm -hmm. Some people rather hear it. I mean, you, I mean, feelings. And text messages just make it easier. Feelings is what you saw is energy. She want to feel that energy. Yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. Everything is energy. I do want to feel that energy. You know what I'm saying? That energy. So you need, you want more, you trying to find that, that, that connection where you, you pretty mm -hmm. much, he already understand you, you understand you, you understand him, you know what you, you know what I'm saying? You have a more of a, a deeper connection too. Yeah, but not even just in like, but, you know, like those uh, in a close relationship. Not even just that. Like, even people that I meet when I first meet them, I want to feel that energy because it's gonna. If I can feel your energy and your energy is vibing with my energy, then I know that I can be more freely open with you and I can be more. But if your energy ain't matching my energy, you probably won't get much out of me. I'll probably be sit back, not really saying much, and then they'll be like, oh, she's, then I'm going to come off kind of shy and reserved and whatever the case. But if your energy is matching my energy, now it's time to chit chat. If we got, if we got the same energy, if our energy is just linking, I can buy, I can open up, talk all day long, have a good conversation with you. And me, I'm always testing people um, to see if they're open minded. I'm always throwing something out like. I'm full, man. Yeah, I'm full too. That's why I only order me like those chips. jalapeno poppers. Tell me you about your, uh, your uh, new diet you finna go on. Oh. So y'all want to hear this new diet that I'm going to do. <laughs> and I'm going to do it after Labor Day. I've decided. Right. Right. I'm going to do it after Labor Day because we all getting together for Labor Day. My family, we get together every holiday. I love family vibes. All my family. I love it. It be so lit. I be really, that's when I'm at my probably <laughs> litest. Y'all yeah, probably want to see that too. Yeah, I know y'all do. <laughs> you might have to go ahead and let y'all get a little clips in. But, um. Yeah. I'm going on this diet where. Eventually, I'm going to do no meats. But starters, I'm going to do. I'm I'm cutting out. I already don't do pork. I don't know if I told you guys that or not. Yeah, we don't do that pork. We don't eat pork. So, that's been cut out. But I'm finna cut out red meat. I'm finna cut out red meat and then eventually I'm gonna cut out uh, the lighter meats as well, which is chicken and turkey. And so I will only be eating like fish. Fish. And fish is not considered a meat, so I'll mm -hmm. only be doing fish and vegetables and like fruit. Yep. So what's that, vegan or? Um, I'm not gonna put a label on it. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> because when you put a label on it, right? People be like, "Oh, you, oh, you yeah, eat that? You eat this guy such that, and such that, ingredients that, that, in it." Chill. Da, 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 da. Calm down. Right. right. That's how you I'm mean. not putting a label on it, y'all. Just know that. And like I said. Right. If he would do be after Labor you, Day, I'm okay. not doing no red meat. Right. I'm still gonna be eating chicken and turkey, but I'm gonna gradually. Wing myself off of meat, period. Right, so don't be trying to hold her accountable on the right. video. Like, girl, you say you want to eat them chicken. Right, you say when you want to eat them chicken. Because we're going to throw some food on the grill for Labor Day, and I need me some grilled chicken. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to go. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wing myself off of the meat and only be doing 
Um, so we gonna have to throw in a couple of um, of those videos, those cooking videos, and I'm gonna have to come up with something. <laughs> you gonna have to cook it and taste it, cause he like me. So he right. It's probably good as me. Better but just vegetables. I mean. I seen some decent uh, vegetarian type recipes though. That be looking good. You yeah. could substitute certain things like, mm -hmm. like cauliflower. They use cauliflower. Uh, yeah, we ain't doing that. No cauliflower chicken. I seen that. We ain't making no. The more. cauliflower buffalo. Uh, chicken. <laughs> cauliflower it chicken. Ain't got no chi I don't know why they put chicken on it because they don't have no. They chicken. call it chicken though. I know they do. And they should do that. Yeah, I mean, I have to taste that to say if it tastes like chicken, but no, I ain't, I ain't going with no cauliflower that tastes like no chicken. Dang, y'all. And at this time, I really <laughs> should say the time because I should try to, just try to eat a whole bunch of meat real quick. But I ain't going to do it. Yes, like taste everything. Like, coon, y'all ever had coon? Y'all ever had raccoon? I got tricked to eat, eat coon. I did. Oh, my God. I got tricked to eat, to eat it for the first time. I got tricked. Who uh, tricked you? Um, What's that? Cousin of grand, granddad. Yeah. Yeah, me. It's smelling good. Walking mm -hmm. the crib. Smelling good. He got us all that day. I Man, think. I think he did got us all. It's smelling good, y'all. I'm telling you, it's smelling Man. bomb. He in there, granddad, my cousin granddad in there cooking. In the kitchen. He like, y'all want to try it? He was in the, was in we, the so, army or the military? Yeah, he like does. Yeah, it is military. So we so hungry, Great. though. You know, we kids. Mm -hmm. We go in the kitchen hunger. He want to give us some a sample. Yes. It smell like. Give me a sample. It smell like. <laughs> was it like? Did it smell like roast beef? Yeah, it, it smell like, like something. It smell like some roast. Or so yeah, he gave us all a sample. Man, it was so good after we had done eating it and chewing up that little piece. He told us like, yeah, that's some cool. It was some cool. <laughs> it was some cool. It was so good, y'all. And he then I got cool. tricked too. Let me tell y'all how I got tricked. It was good though. Woo. Let me tell y'all this one. So, a friend of mine, um, they had grilled some food, and he told me that he was giving me some deer meat, right? And so I took it to work the next day, and I ate it on my lunch break, and it was so good. Like, when I say y'all so good, you know how, like, food be so good, and you be, like, still scraping all the meat off the bone? <laughs> like, it was good. Right. It was really, really good. And so when I got off work, I'm like, that was really, that was some really good, um, deer meat. Like, whoever sparked the grill that did a good job. <laughs> Man, y'all, they told me that it was. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was beaver. Was it? Yes. Wow. It was beaver. I Dang. Y'all, it was good. So you just was, banged the whole beaver? I banged. No, see, and then this is the thing when I was eating, y'all, I was kind of like looking at the piece of meat because it was like the meat was like it had like a bone that was like <laughs> it was like so it had a bone. That was <laughs> no, you know how you could tell from the bones, like no, it was like kind of like a little piece that was like this. I'm like, yeah, like an elbow, and I'm like. Okay, but you know that a deer got legs. They elbow. They ain't really got no elbows like that. So you think? Yeah. So I'm thinking like, see, I told y'all I'd be overthinking. <laughs> I'm like, uh -uh. oh man, that ain't gay. So how, so who told you it was deer? They tricked me. Dang, I've been kind of man. And it was like so they was laugh like it was good. I'm like, yeah, it was real good. They start falling out <laughs> laughing. I'm like, what? <laughs> They were like, that was some, that was some beaver. beaver, some beaver meat. I'm like, what? Damn. It was good. Hit me with that. Hit me with it again. It was good. It was really good. Damn, that's crazy. Right. So yeah. now that I'm finna stop eating meat, I'm just like, let me just taste a bunch of stuff. They had a whole, did you see that gator? gator? Yeah, I seen that gator. They just had at the grocery store. The high beat. They skin gator. They had a whole skin gator. Crazy. It wasn't all the way skin. The head was still like on it, on it, and, in the, the and the feet was still yeah, on there. Yeah, that's the presentation. Isn't it? Right, so y'all can see that it's a gator. But, but crazy, two hundred a pound, I think it was. I ain't finna eat no gator. Yeah, it's certain meats that I'm just not gonna do. Yeah, I'm I'm cool on certain things too. Uh -huh. Certain certain animals though, you ain't supposed to eat to be honest. Right, like oh. when we went to the keys, so. we went to the keys. I told y'all about that. We went to the Florida Keys. 
and they had um dolphin bites. Daddy bogus. Cause I, that's what I said. That's what I said. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting in the water with them, but that's I thought that I was said, nice. I said, oh my God, they got dolphin bites on here, y'all. Like, that is just so wrong. That Why is they killing the dolphin? Are you guys <laughs> killing the dolphins? Or, like, are are they passing away and you guys are finding them? And, like, what's now, going on? They're supposed to eat me like that. When it but you know away, what? Like, you know? That's some good energy. That's crazy. They had lived... At least they lived a happy, good, natural life, and they smart. Cause they say dolphins are supposed to be smart yeah, and humans. Fifteen percent. Well, I mean, if their brain was bigger, they would be. But they they use fifteen percent of their brain. They use more percentage, percentage of their brain, of brain than, than we do. And we, yeah, but we, we can use, use more because we only use like one side when we can we really tap into the side. other side. Yep. And it's ten percent of that, so they using like twelve to fifteen. Mm. So yeah, probably even more than that. So crazy yeah they do because they communicate through you know sonar mm -hmm. through fre frequencies my um teacher back in like six or seven grade was telling me a story how she went and she swam with dolphins her and her husband and at the time she didn't know that she was with child but those dolphins are so intelligent that when she got in the water they knew and they would not come by her like they wouldn't they they wouldn't mess with her. They wouldn't do anything. Come right. near her. Do anything. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, if you would child, like they don't really, they prefer not to even deal with you because they know. But you, yeah. you know, they smart. They're very yeah. smart. They're intelligent. Yeah, and that's that energy. That's mm -hmm. because they pick up on that energy. They can tell. That's why we tell y'all everything is form. energy. They could tell. They could pick up on that life form energy. That's you know what I'm saying. That's in you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Like they say if a king too. cobra is like that too. For real? Yeah, but they say if you got grab a king cobra any kind of any kind of way that you can't just grab it any kind of way it's gonna mm -hmm. attack you. But if you grab it like you more so a little bit educated on it, then you mm -hmm. can it can feel your energy like okay, right. this person know what it's doing, so I'm not gonna attack right. them. Like that snake that you know the uh, snake that you know you play the music. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that a king cobra? And I think it might be. But you know you play With that the music they listen to that yeah that yeah I think so they come frequency. out dancing like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, like... that's real though that vibration that certain frequency does that to them mm -hmm. crazy snakes snakes and cats are supposed to be spiritual animals right mm -hmm. but y'all I'm all done with my yeah I'm done too we done. And we're full, so we finna um. Yeah, we finna get on up out of here, y'all. So we appreciate y'all. Show love, show light. Send that love light. Share this video. Yep. Subscribe, and like, and comment. Peace. <laughs>